Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video for beginner colorists. Specifically, overwhelmed beginner colorists. <laughs> my reason for doing this video is because I see so many people in the Facebook groups and everything that are beginners and just coming into the coloring community and they want to know what type of pencils to use or what other mediums they can use or you know what are people's favorite books and I'm going to try to make a video today to try to answer some of those questions I'm going to explain to you how I got started in the adult coloring community and we are going to go over the three main things that you need to be able to make this coloring hobby part of your enjoyment and not make it overwhelming or not turn it into a quote unquote collective hobby because that is sometimes what happens you see everybody in all the Facebook groups and everything and they're all talking about you need this and this and this and then of course when we read all these posts we think we need all of the things and it's nice to have all of the things but in the very beginning you don't want to overwhelm yourself you just want to be able to sit down and color and relax and de-stress and just use this as at least this is what I do I just kind of use it as my me time to just kind of be by myself and relax and create something beautiful on my coloring page as I lay the colors down and I would love for all of you to be able to do that too without being overwhelmed if you are an overwhelmed colorist or beginner colorist and my description fits you, please let me know in the comments because I would really love to know how many of you feel that way. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to continue to see my videos, please make sure that you do subscribe and also turn on your bell notifications so that you always get notified when I post a new video. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It will help my channel out a lot, and I really appreciate it. So let's get into the video. The three main things that you need to have to start this amazing coloring journey are coloring books, of course. The next thing you need is something to color with. I prefer colored pencils. You may like alcohol markers. And the third thing that you need is a good pencil sharpener. So we're going to talk about those three things today in this video. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to just show you some different coloring books and show you what is available to you as a beginner colorist or even any colorist. I still color in these books and I love them all. When I first started coloring, I started with the Joanna Basford books, which are absolutely wonderful books, and I believe that's really where it all started in the adult coloring community when everyone started to get really hyped up about this new adult coloring trend. Back then, I think that's really what it was, was a trend. I'm talking maybe five, six years ago when Joanna Basford first released her books, and they were the most popular ones. And I still absolutely love the Joanna Basford books. And I use those in a lot of my tutorials to teach all of you how to color flowers. And I love those books. But there are also other books out there that are wonderful. And they're going to increase your skill as a beginner colorist as well. So one of the first artists that I found... Uh, I would say a year or so after I started with the Joanna Basford books, I was on Facebook one day and somebody had suggested Deborah Muller to me. And her books were my absolute favorite books for the longest time. They're still a favorite of mine. And she makes the most adorable books. This one here is called Storybook Princesses Divas villainesses and heroes so her just so I'll, I'm not going to do a full flip through but I'm going to show you some of the pages so that you can see what her artwork looks like but it's really adorable and when I wanted to learn how to color skin and clothes 
and all of these other things aside from flowers and fish and all of the other things that I already felt like I knew how to color and I had a lot of skill in those things I wanted to kind of move on and this is where I went I went to the Deborah Muller books but she still has a lot of flowers so you're still coloring flowers in these I know everybody loves coloring flowers but she has the cutest artwork and if you want to learn how to color hair these books are like my main go-to books these are the books that I go to for coloring hair and for doing portrait work but all of her artwork is is very cute very kind of cutesy but at the same time it will help you to increase your skill so this, that's Deborah Muller and then I have another Deborah Muller here this one is Little Fay We Fairies of Fairyville this one's a newer book the, the one that I just showed you I believe is an older book she has so many books on Amazon so many I mean she must have it, she probably has at least a hundred books and she's always coming out with new ones and she is one of the artists that every time she releases a book I jump right on it because I love her artwork that much and she really has something for everyone she just came out with one that was all aliens and it's really not up my alley so I didn't purchase that one but that's one of the first ones that I did not purchase from her but look at this one how cute it's got just a bunch of little fairies and they're so adorable and here you could practice with coloring birds and here this one has a snail and you still get to do the practice with hair this one has a little bit of hair on it so this would be very good for a beginner because you have a little bit of hair and you have a little bit of skin to start practicing without it being overwhelming and being a full portrait and then you've got a little chickadee or something little bird sitting up here on the um, vine and then you've got some vines so you can learn how to color that there's just so much ladybugs and what I would do is I would go on Google pull up a picture of a ladybug and then I would just match my colors up to the picture on my screen I'm getting ready to do a video on that on coloring from realism but I've just not put it together yet but that is a video that will be coming up on my channel look at this one how adorable this is and then here you can color a frog and the last time I colored a frog I did that too I pulled the image up on Google and I found a frog a few different ones actually because there were a few different frogs on the page that I was coloring and so I just tried to copy the image on the screen and ma match my colors to it of course first and then blended them so that they looked like the image on my computer screen or my phone okay and the next artist I wanted to show you was Jade Summer Jade Summer is actually not the artist Jade Summer is actually the company and then I believe there's several different artists that actually do the artwork for the books but these are pretty popular this is one adorable little one that I bought just thinking I wanted to cut color like little cutesy things to try to kind of feel like I'm a little kid again <laughs> but I have not even gotten to this book yet so they are single-sided and then the other side of the coloring page is going to be black so these are good books if you want to use alcohol markers but if you're going to use alcohol markers for these I would slide something underneath and then lay your page back down on like maybe a piece of cardstock or something and then you're okay to color but look at the adorable little images again I'm not going to do a full flip through but I'm just going to show you like this right here would be fantastic a fantastic learning tool you've got the strawberry here you've got the pancakes and this these are just all ways for you to explore your coloring skill and still be able to expand upon just coloring flowers and stuff which I know a lot of people just kind of stick to the flower thing but this is an adorable book and if you get some of these books there's just so many other things that you can explore and increase your skill like this one has the skin you can practice hair 
And then it's got little stuffed animals down here on the table. And even this cake with icing. So the cake with the icing and the cherries on top is a huge skill that you could learn and just continue to practice with. There's so much practice on one page in these books. These are some of the books that most people would not maybe even know about or even think to purchase. You know, like a very little kiddish book like this. But there is so much practice in these little kitty pictures. Like, look at this sandcastle here. Like, that, that requires a lot of blending, a lot of skill, a lot of highlights, and to make it look like it's actual sand. And then you even have trees to color in and bushes back here along with the flowers. So there is just so much to be learned in these little, which you would think are cutesy books and you may not even think about purchasing, but these are really great. Here's another Jade Summer book, and I brought this one out because I wanted to show you the difference between the um, regular line art, which is what that last one was. So here's the difference. I'll show you. This is line art and what it looks like. And if we go to this one, again, we have the black on the back of the pages. And I believe that a lot of colorists that use, um, use alcohol markers tend to go to books like this and not even if you're using alcohol markers for a beginner a book like this is fabulous because when you're just learning how to shade all of the darker areas are there to guide you and show you where the darker areas should be and then where the lighter sh areas should be now I have colored on grayscale in with pencils a lot of people don't do that but I love using pencils on grayscale so I'll show you some of the images in this book it has some really cute ones in here this is a great book there's a mermaid there are some really cute images in here. Again, I'm not going to do a full flip through, but look. See, there's even a unicorn here. That's a whole nother skill, coloring an animal. But see, really, you just need to choose. Do you want grayscale so that you can practice, or do you want to go and start with line art? It's really up to you. You can use pencils on the grayscale. You could use alcohol markers on the grayscale, whatever you want. But when you first start coloring, pick one. Pick alcohol markers or pick pencils. Pick a grayscale book or pick one line art book. And just do that and work on that for a little while. And then when you want to hone in on your skill even more and you want more variety, then start picking up other things because really there is no reason to be overwhelmed when you're coloring. Here's an example of what pencil looks like on grayscale. I did this with Prismacolors and I love how it turned out. I love the colors, but this is how Prismacolors look on grayscale. Is that not beautiful? And I think this is the only one that I colored in this book, but when I tell you this picture took me forever, this literally took me forever. I put so much effort into this one page. So let's move on. Oh, here's another popular Jade Summer one, and this is very cute. This one is line art, and I'll just flip through it a little bit. All of these will be linked in the description so that you can easily find them. And these are fantastic books because they are not expensive. There's some more from that book. There's a lot of really cute things in here. There's a cute little witch. Okay, and then we have Hannah Lynn, who is another great one and one of my favorites. And this one is Whimsy Girls at Work. And I'll show you some of... Here, let me show you this. So Hannah Lynn, in all of her books, she has this cover page where she shows you exactly what is included and what you're getting in the book. 
and she actually has names for each one of the pages. I just love that. I love how she names each piece of art that is in her book. Just oh, this is what I this is why I brought this one out. Her newer books are fantastic for beginners because anybody could buy this book whether you're advanced or a beginner or if you're just kind of in the middle somewhere because you've got the very detailed page and then when you turn the page it's kind of zoomed in and so there is less to color and the spaces are more open and bigger and it's like that through the entire book in this one See how it's just kind of zoomed in so you have a lot more empty space back here but here is the detailed one and then here is the zoomed in one but this one is called whimsy girls at work i love this book this one is one of my favorites maui mermaids this one's also hannah lynn and again she has her cover page where she shows you everything that you get included in the book and then all of the uh, artwork is named and this is one of her older ones so this one does not have where um, you've got the detailed one and then you've got the next page that is zoomed in because our older books were not like that she's just now started doing that in her newer books but there's a lot of beautiful artwork in here and there's a lot of skin practice in here. Here we have a dolphin, that's good practice. But her artwork is absolutely beautiful. Some of them are more detailed, but if you flip through the book, let me see if there's one in here. I think there's one in here that I colored that was, yeah, here's one. I did this one and I really enjoyed doing this one. This is one of my favorite pages that I colored. I love how I did the fish and all the hair. I just love this one and I felt like a background was not necessary. But this one was a very quick color. So if you flip through the book, there will be other pages in this book. I'm not going to do a complete flip through. But there are some that are more detailed and then there are some that are not. This one was a very easy color. And then lastly, some of us don't want to get into all of that stuff and we just want to color something like a mandala and mandalas are extremely relaxing and this is one of the better mandala books but it is going to be more expensive I would wait until they go on sale and color it does have some sales I purchased this on Amazon and sometimes they do get discounted and they go on sale but this one I mean, it's it's worth the money on its own. I think they're around $20, but they are worth the money even when they're not on sale. Just because, I think it gives you little directions. Is that what, yeah, to prevent your ink bleeding. Because, of course, I don't know how many of you know, Color It does, they actually make my favorite gel pens ever. But they also do a lot of alcohol markers and, like, other things. So the pages are thicker and everything is perforated so if you work on any of these mandalas you could actually take them off and frame them if you wanted or keep them in a notebook and I'll just this one's beautiful but these mandalas are fantastic because they really will teach you how to mix your colors up or even how to follow follow a color palette which is something that a lot of more advanced colorists will do but I've been teaching a lot of that on my channel so if you're interested you could always go back to that so oh this one's beautiful too so that is just a, f a few on coloring books so number one choose a coloring book you only need one coloring book you don't need a whole bunch I know I showed you a variety but I showed you a variety so that you could decide which artist most appealed to you and whether you'd like to use grayscale or line art or just simply go to something like mandalas. So that is the first thing that you would decide. And then you just get one book. Of course, I'll have all these books linked down in the description for you so that you can easily find them. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Okay, so the next part of the video, we are going to move on to colored pencils. 
Let's start with oil-based pencils. So as far as budget is concerned, these are my favorite budget-friendly pencils. These are the Speer Farben pencils. This is the 96 set. These are newer. I believe they also have a 72 set in these pencils. I have actually taken these out of the tin. I still have a few left in here because I am trying to kind of organize them by color family, but there is a beautiful array of colors in these pencils. Look at these colors. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm also going to show you what something that I colored with these pencils. I colored this bug here with these pencils and it turned out absolutely beautiful. At least I think it did. So you can still do amazing things with pencils that don't cost as much. This one was done with polychromos and I don't know, you tell me, can you really tell the difference? I can't. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I pick these pencils up more than I do my polychromos when I want to work with an oil-based pencil. I am going to make sure that I have these linked down in the description below because I just went and pulled up Amazon so that I could let you guys know the prices on these pencils and they are actually having a really good sale right now on these pencils. They're usually $79.97 and I've seen them that high and right now they're actually only $51.27 and then the 72 set is actually down to $35.97, which is the lowest it's been in a long while. And they're both on one day shipping if you're in the U.S. So I'm going to have all that linked down below. Gosh, that makes me want to get another set. I love these pencils. Okay, so your next option would be the Arteza pencils. Now I've got some out of my Arteza set. This is the 72 set. I have the 120 set coming, but I've got some out because I've actually been a little obsessed with these pencils the last few days and I've been doing a lot of coloring with them. <laughs> so even me who is a, I would consider an advanced colorist and I've been coloring for quite a while, I love these pencils. Love, 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 love. Let me show you what I colored with these pencils. So here is what these pencils can do. They blend and shade so well that I was just completely surprised. If you want to see my review on these, I will also link that probably in the um, upper right hand corner up here so that you could watch my video I did on these Arteza pencils. But these are another fantastic choice and I will also have links for these Arteza pencils down below so that you could find them yourself. And remember there's also a 120 set. When I get my 120 set I will be doing a video on those and I will be swatching them all out for you. Here is another choice, Black Widows. These are one of my favorites. I've been using all my budget pencils lately. I've been having so much fun with them because some of them I am just, I just can't believe what some of them can do. And if you want to see how these Black Widow pencils perform and would like some of a tutorial, I will make sure to link all of those for you. I'll put some in the um, upper right hand corner up here so that you can find those videos very easily. But I've done a lot of tutorials with these. I also swatched all 144 colors and I have that in a video for you. But this is another choice. So our choices, these are wax based. I don't know if I said that. These are wax based and the Arteza are wax based. So these are going to lay down different than the Spear Farben pencils are going to lay down. And like I said earlier, it's your choice as to what you want to use. Now, if you are someone who wants to not use colored pencils because maybe your hands are aching or you have arthritis or you have some other something that is holding you back from being able to put pressure on a pencil and do all of that tedious coloring, you can also go to an alcohol marker. 
Okay, so I have these Kelly Art brush markers and they are actually fabulous. So they have a brush on one side and then they have the broad tip on the other side. And alcohol markers will do some blending for you dependent upon the type of paper that you use. You will get more blending or less blending ability when you're working with them and they do require a little bit of skill but they're fun to learn with because again this is all about learning and using new things right but we still don't want to get overwhelmed so choose one if you if you think that you want to get a coloring page done much quicker then I would go with alcohol markers and I would go ahead and pick myself up a grayscale book to work in and I would start there and then after you have honed in on those skills and you've learned how to use them and you're having fun with them and you decide you want to try some pencils then your choices were four wax pencils the black widows I have plenty of tutorials on my channel for these or the spear farben for oil pencils and then the arteza which are wax pencils Okay, so our last thing is a good pencil sharpener. So this is my absolute favorite pencil sharpener. This is the Doll 133. I will make sure that I link the um, video that the video review that I did on this one up in the corner for you, so that you can see how this performs. But so many people have purchased this pencil sharpener after seeing my last video and come into my Facebook group, and they are just completely surprised at how amazing it is like it is saving prismacolors and those of you that don't have prismacolors you probably don't know that like they are very breakable and some of them you will just keep on sharpening them away in a way and that's very sad when you spend a lot of money on your pencils because you just don't have money to throw in the garbage by sharpening your pencil away you want to be able to use them and enjoy them so this has been a great pencil sharpener and it's great for any kind of pencil. I've used it on every single one of the budget pencils that I've showed you and it works wonderfully on all of them. And then if you just want something small, this is the Coombe pencil sharpener and it is actually amazing. This little thing is perfect. What I will do is I will take my pencils and I will sharpen them in here but I won't always use this. If I want to freshen up my pencil after it's been sharpened, then I will come back and freshen it up with this, therefore saving my pencils a little bit because this one will take away more of the wood, whereas this one won't if you just want a sharper tip and you just want to freshen it up. So I think that we covered everything. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know if you're a beginner colorist or even if you've been coloring for a while and you just want to increase your skill please let me know if this video was helpful please let me know what you got out of it please let me know where you're gonna get started what are you gonna choose are you going to choose just one coloring book or are you gonna get overwhelmed and get carried away and think that you need them all <laughs> the point of this video was for you not to do that and for you to understand that you just need to pick one coloring book either pencils or alcohol markers and I gave you several suggestions for pencils these are a fantastic deal right now I'm going to make sure that I try to get this video up for today for y'all so I could let you know about that deal and I'm also going to come into my Facebook group and I'm going to let everyone there know because that is just too good to pass up it makes me want to buy a second set hoping that this video was helpful to many of you whether you are a beginner colorist or even not a beginner colorist even if you've been coloring for several months and you still feel like you want to hone in on some of your skills I hope that I gave you plenty of other options as well for coloring books um, but if you are just beginning I want you to just choose one of those books and choose either alcohol markers or pencils and choose one set of pencils and not all of those set of pencils but they're all very budget friendly and you can get started for so cheap. You just need a coloring book, some colored pencils, and a pencil sharpener.
and I would love to know in the comments what y'all chose and I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I will be back with another one very soon. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to make this a series and I think that maybe we could move into teaching you how to shade with budget pencils. So let me know if that's something that you want to see and again please make sure that you subscribe you turn on your bell notifications and you also give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. I will see you back in my Facebook group or in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.